All right, so the new uh, Project My Screen app came out um, either today or yesterday uh, for Windows Phone. I've got a Lumia 1520 here. Of course, you can see my reflection there. Um, once you install the app, it'll be up on your screen here. Um, one of the quick buttons you can press is just the F button on your keyboard. It will take it out of full screen mode and put it into a windowed mode that you can then snap to various screens and then pressing F again will make it go full screen. It's not immediately apparent what those keys are, uh, but if you want to know some of the other shortcuts, just go up to the help bar and controls, and it will show you a more detailed list of all the various controls. You can change the orientation, some other stuff, tell it to be landscape, portrait. So once you do that, uh, you just plug in a data cable to your phone, and once you plug it into the computer, you'll see a pop-up here saying allow screen projection. Your computer is trying to display your screen contents. Are you okay with this? You hit yes, and it pops up on the screen. Oop, let's dismiss that. Dismiss. All right, and it's pretty quick. So if you notice, my swipe was pretty quick. Uh, clicking on battery app, it's almost, it's almost as fast. I mean, just within a couple of split seconds, of displaying what's on the screen to my computer. So I'm going to press. I mean, that's quick. That's really stupid quick. So it's pretty easy to do. Um, if you've already plugged in your phone to your computer before and your computer automatically downloaded and installed drivers from Windows Update, you may find that it won't work. Um, you will not get the alert on your phone saying, um, you know, your, your computer is trying to share the screen. What you need to do is with your phone still plugged in, what I found the easiest way to do is with your phone still plugged in, you can go, it's a driver problem is what it is. When you install the software, it installs drivers, but because you already have drivers loaded, it won't, uh, it won't overwrite those. So find your USB icon down here in the bottom corner and just tell it to open devices and printers and then go into your phone and properties and under hardware, you can see the various hardware components that it's installed. And what you want to do, the reason I'm pulling it up through here is because if you go into your device manager, there are a whole bunch, um, if your computer is like mine, various USB composite devices, and you won't know which one's which. Um, also, by doing this with your phone plugged in, these show up. If you unplug your phone, these will all be removed from your device manager because they're no longer currently in use. So you can't uninstall what's not there. So with it installed, you can go in here and go to properties and driver and you can say uninstall and then say completely delete this from my system. So go through each one of these and delete them all and then unplug your phone, plug it back in. It will refind the new drivers that were installed with the Project My Screen app and it will work just fine. Um, now as far as on here, um, you can't click on anything like a mouse button doesn't work here or anything it's just a projection as far as I know um, if anybody knows any different let me know but I can't click on anything in this app I can only display but uh, it is super cool for um, doing demos and things of that nature now I've just turned off my screen but it's still projecting up there when I turn it back on it goes to the lock screen and let's just kinda look at see how it's following it's it's pretty quick it works great. So if we go into something like Waze, you know, pretty awesome stuff. Phonely. Must be pulling down a bunch of news. There we go. And it's it's quite responsive. So that's it. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments.